Whew, wonder what video to review this week. Let's see. Hello there. In this video, I'm going to review the 1992 game based on the 1984 blockbuster starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, The Terminator. The game was released in 1992, um, coded by Probe Software and released by Virgin Games. It follows the 1984 storyline. You play Kyle Reese. The, the first level starts off in the future of LA 2029 and you're tasked with travelling back in time to stop the Terminators from um, killing Sarah Connor and stopping the birth of the Resistance leader John Connor as Dr. Silverman put it in the film, uh, Retroactive Abortion. So the game starts off with you above surface, um, set in the future. Uh, the, the first bit is you fight a tank, throwing grenades at it, you, and then you end up um, fighting off like hunter killers, getting underground. Now it differs if you change it to easy to medium, because on easy you pick up a rifle and, and f start shooting the Terminators, if not, you just end up with, a, with firing grenades at them. Now you fight your way through the factory up to the generator where you lay a bomb and then you've got 30 seconds to get out and get to the top through the time machine. Uh, playing it when I was a kid, um, get so much anxiety to get to the, um, the level before it ends. I mean, playing it now, I've still got to get there before it blows up. I don't think I've ever let the clock go down and let it blow up. I don't think I could do that. It's too much anxiety for me to do it. <laughs> so um, it then follows on leading to the um, like the still where you see Carl Reese um, entering LA through the lightning. Just a, a fact about this as well. Um, in the original script, there was actually going to be two um, freedom fighters that were sent back. But one of them is killed immediately. When he goes through, he gets impaled on the spike. That kills him straight away. So he's um. But I think they'll just cut that out. I think it was for the best as well with Kyle being just a lone uh, soldier come back. It would have. I wouldn't really had the dynamics as well that he volunteered to rescue Sarah Connor as well. So I think it was best that they cut that bit out. So the next level is downtown LA in the 1980s. Uh, you basically got to fight your way through uh, the police and also um, thugs who will throw Molotov cocktails at you and you can jump onto the roof but then you've got to fight your way through a police helicopter as well. This goes all the way through like a building site up to, up to a phone booth. Once you're in the phone booth it fo follows the story as well where you find the address of Sarah Connor 
like the Terminator does as well in the movie. So then the next level is set in the nightclub of Tech Noir. It's like difference on this bit as well when you go through at the beginning. It says ten dollars to get in, but in the movie it's four fifty. I'm not sure why that there's a big jump in price to that, but I wouldn't be happy if it was four fifty then ten dollars. I'd go somewhere else. But never mind. Especially nineteen eighties as well. Ten ten dollars to get into a club. But I digress anyway. So in the level you fight off the Terminator. They uh, shoot him a couple of times, he, he gets down and gets up and then he, when he starts flashing you can run to Sarah and then the level ends with another air uh, still from the movie where you're sat in the car explaining to Sarah who you are and why you're there and why the Terminator is after her. So the next level is set in the police station where you've got to fight your way through the levels fighting police and um, criminals as well, um, avoiding police firing at you and them throwing the petrol bombs which it's a bit strange because the way the game is it seems like Reese was the one that shot up the petrol station and killed all the police officers where obviously it was a Terminator that did it in the in the film okay so once you fight your way through the police and the thugs again you um, engage the Terminator you shoot at them until it's, it's flashing on the floor and then you rescue Sarah again. So the, the final level is set in the factory um, where you're shooting at the Terminator. You shoot at him a couple of times when he's the endoskeletal Terminator. There is the cutscene as well at the beginning showing that um, he was exploded and he appeared out of the fire as the just the skeleton. You shoot at him a few times until you blow his uh, metal legs off and then he's crawling towards you. At this point you can't shoot him, you can only run away from him. And you've got to fight your way through the factory, luring him into the hydraulic press like in the film. At this point he's squashed and the game's over. And there was a cutscene of Sarah in the Jeep and it mentions that Carl died, but Sarah will go on and um, raise John Connor. It does stay true to the uh, film as well. Obviously you don't. I think it would have been better if you, at this point, they, they did Kyle dying when uh, his legs blew off and you played as Sarah, luring him into the hydraulic press, but for limitations at the time, I don't think they could have done that. Just another fact as well, there's a deleted scene in the Terminator film where at the end where they're putting Sarah in an ambulance, when the ambulance drives away, it pans out and the actual factory that they're in is Cyberdyne. So that's how they actually got hold of the arm and the chip. It was because of, it was the Cyberdyne factory that they were in where all this happened, which I thought was really cool when I watched the deleted scenes. Just another fact there. It does stay really true to the f movie as well, the, the game, like the levels um, play through like it does in the um, film. I mean, because I first played this, I was 10 year old and I wasn't allowed to watch the film because it was an 18. But I, I sort of knew what happened when I watched Terminator 2. And then when I finally saw the Terminator, I kind of knew what like what happened. So it, it is true to the sense in that way. Some really good music as well. I mean, all Virgin games seem to have a really good um, music in them. And it stays really true to the original um, Terminator score by Brad Friedel. I mean, it's at the beginning of the game, but the levels as well, they really stay true to how how it sounded in the film as well. I mean, the, the first level's really iconic. I mean, I always, it's one of my favorite pieces of uh, music for computer games. I still really like that and brings back loads of memories when I hear that, when it's played, it's just fantastic. Got a right nostalgic trip when I played this um, straight away. Go back to really, um, it was a lot of fun to play still I mean like I say as well it's really intense as well the, the, it's really intense as well the first level when you've got to blow up the generator and get there in time and it gets more difficult as the game goes on and it's just really fun to play I mean it, it's quite short but the levels are really fun and it one it wants you to go back and, and complete it again and again and again 
and for the nostalgia value and because of that it gets 10 out of 10 from me I love the game and I'll play it again and again okay so that's it for me hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it I did this video because obviously it is August the 29th which would would have been judgment day it didn't happen what thank god but you never know <laughs> but like I say um hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought and hopefully I can do some more videos I, I know there was a couple of other Terminator games I, I believe Terminator 2 come out and they did Robocop versus Terminator as well so I'd like to give those a review as well and see but until then hope you're doing well and hope to see you in another video until then but I don't say. I'm a friend of Sarah Connor. I was told that she's here. Could I see her? I think you've got the wrong house, mate. Where is she? I told you, mate, I think you've got the wrong house. I'll be back. I've told her she's not here. Fuck you, asshole. Charming. That was weird. Uh, Sarah, he's caught up with you. I think you're gonna have to go. He's after this.